In this video, we will assign and view attributes of entities in a simulants model. We currently have a model of a restaurant. The key pieces of the model are the entity generator where entities or customers are created, a queue where they wait to enter the restaurant, and a server where they are given the food service. Because customers in the real world are not all the same, we will want to assign them characteristics. And we can do so using attributes in SimEvents. Attributes allow data to be associated with entities. Let's say we want to model our customers with two attributes. Order time to represent the amount of time the customer spends at the restaurant and patients to indicate how long they would wait in queue to be seated. Let's see how we can model this using sim events. There are multiple ways to introduce attributes into our model. For now, let's use the set attribute block, which can be found under the attribute sublibrary. This block gives us two different ways to set attributes. Let's set the attribute patients from the dialog box and set it to a constant 1. Let's then add another attribute for order time and set it from a signal port. The attribute order time needs to be set by an event-based signal. The event-based random number generator block can be used for this. This block can be found under the Signals Generator tab under the Generator sublibrary. This block lets us create values of various distributions, which we can select from a drop down menu. For now, let's use a uniform distribution and say every customer can have a minimum order time of 20 and a maximum of 60. To view this attribute, we can use an attribute scope block found under the Sinks library. In the block parameters, select the type of plot and the attribute to view. Running the simulation, we can observe the order times of the entities coming in. We learned in this video how to assign and view attributes of entities. In particular, we assign the attributes order time and patience to every customer in the restaurant model.